Hello, my name is Sabrina, and today we're going to discuss the letter names of the piano. The letter names of the piano are actually just the first seven letters of the English alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. After the letter G, we just go back to A and repeat it again. So let's look at the black keys of our piano. We have pairs of two and three. This will help you to find the white keys. So let's first talk about the pair of two black keys. At the beginning of the two black keys, we'll have the letter C. Every time we find a pair of two black keys, it starts with a C, just to the left. The last key of a full-size piano is also a C. In the middle of the two black keys, you'll find D. end of two black keys, you'll find E. Now let's talk about the pair of three. The three black keys start with F. Then you've got G, which is on the left middle. on the right middle. The first key of your full-size piano is also A. And the last one on the pair of three black keys is B. And the second key of your piano is a B as well. Since that was A, that's B. Now you may be thinking at this point, why don't we start on the letter A? I don't know. I didn't come up with this. We always start with C. It's our favorite key of the piano. And it's pretty much the center. Now let's talk about the names of the black keys. The black keys can have two different names. Let's talk about sharp first. The sharp sign looks like a hashtag. It's not exactly a hashtag, but it's pretty close. Sharps always tell us to go up the piano or to the right, to the higher notes. So if you find a C sharp, you have to look at the white key C first and then just go a little bit higher to that black note right there, C sharp. So it's always in that location. The beginning of pair of two. If you wanna find D sharp, find your letter D and just go up a little bit. If you want to find F sharp, take it up a little bit. So beginning of three black keys is F sharp. G sharp is the middle. A sharp is the end. One black key at the end of your piano is also A sharp. Now let's talk about the flats. Flats look like an italicized B. And instead of going up like a sharp, you go down or to the left. So if you wanted to find D flat, find D and take it just a little down. Always the first or the beginning of a pair of two black keys. E flat. Find E, take it down a little bit. G flat. A flat. And B flat. First note of the piano, that black, one black key, is also B flat. Some of the white keys don't have a black key between them, but we can still have a sharp there. If you find the key E sharp, taking us up a half step, actually just brings us to a white key, 
So E sharp is the white key F. We also would have the same thing happening with the flats. This would be C flat, which is the letter B. C flat takes us down a half step and we would play this note. Or F flat would take us down to the white note, which is actually the key E. So very rarely you will see that, but sometimes you might. That's all I have for you today. To learn more about the letter key names, be sure to hop into one of our live classes. We'll see you next time.